Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com. Here is a, a massive mosque in Cheetah Mill. If you see the massive size of that mosque, it used to be a hotel. And then if you see there, another mosque. So you've got a training center and uh, a massive mosque there. And uh, these mosques are massive, I mean, they're, they're absolutely massive. So in about 10, 15 years, these will be the centre of the communities in Manchester. All over Manchester there are these giant mosques, in all of them there's giant mosques, etc. And we've got to wake up as a church. Uh, Germany is absolutely swamped with Islam. Uh, France is swamped with Islam. And there are no reformed churches here. I'm from the reformed tradition. There are no reformed churches in Cheetah Mill. There are a few charismatic churches, they're not very strong. And uh, we need to really wake up. What are we doing? Well, instead, what we're doing is we're setting up these big mega churches like a rock concerts, and everybody's just becoming worldly. You don't see people going into the inner cities and planting churches in these very difficult areas. Because, it, it, you know, it's all right wearing a cool T-shirt and listening to a cool guy playing a guitar in church, and it's all nicey-nicey. But we need to wake up. The West is dying. The West is collapsing. The West is in a mess. And uh, we need to stand up against secularism. We need to stand up against secular immorality. We need to stand up and fight for the gospel. We need to get into the cities. We need to be planting churches. What are you doing? What are you doing? You need to wake up, for goodness sake. The church needs to wake up. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the glory of God. Europe used to be a Christian country. Europe used to be a, a Protestant. The Reformation, it's the anniversary of the Reformation. Germany uh, came back to the gospel through Luther. The, you know, France erupted with uh, John Calvin's uh, uh, pastors and ministers. And there was a revival of, of Christianity. And we need to wake up. The church needs to wake up. You know, what are we doing? If we believe in hell, if we really believe in hell, why are we sat on our backsides? You don't believe in hell. You don't believe in the glory of God. If you believed in the glory of God, if you believed in hell, you'd be out here, you'd be planting churches in Cheetah Mill, you'd be planting churches in Europe, you'd be getting out there. Not going to these big mega churches where it's all trendy and go to a coffee bar and it's all nice. We need to get back to biblical Christianity. We need to get back. To, to solid Bible preaching and Bible teaching. We need to get back into these inner cities and start planting churches because in the next 20 years, you can forget about uh, secular Europe. It will be Islam. It will be Islamic. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm going to fight. I'm going to get out here with God willing and with God's help and with people who might support me and people are, are beginning to support me. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to plant a church in Cheetah Mill, God willing, and other uh, inner city areas where there are Muslim areas. And then when it's done in England, I'm going to go over to France and I'm going to go over to Germany and anywhere else where there's a desperate need to plant churches. We need to be getting out and we need to be uh, planting churches. We need to be sharing the gospel. If you go into Manchester, there are about five or six teams of two Jehovah's Witnesses on every corner in, in the main areas of Manchester. You, and they're there every day and they're sharing out the propaganda that, that's a cult. And compared to the evangelical witness, they're ten times stronger. Where's the evangelical witness? There's a, there are preachers that go out, there are churches that go out, but compared to what the Jehovah's Witnesses are doing, the Mormons are doing, compared to what uh, the Islam is doing, compared to uh, secularism and what it's doing, you know, we need to wake up. It's the anniversary of the Reformation this year. You wouldn't think it in Europe. You wouldn't think it in the church. We are lost our way. So wake up. Wake up. Because there'll be no Christianity in Europe in the next 20 years, the way things are going. We'll be under Sharia law and we'll be banned for preaching the gospel. Secularism's going to try and stop us, but we've got to fight tooth and nail and proclaim the gospel in these days. Hyde Park. 
Hyde Park used to be a place of free speech. It used to be a place where everybody could go for free speech. Every Sunday there are at least three to four hundred Muslims down there. They pray uh, in a visible way and they surround Christians, maybe 40, 50 Muslims to one Christian. It's become a caliphate in Hyde Park. We need to wake up. This uh, movement by Donald Trump in America and uh, Tommy Robinson in the UK, that's not going to do it. What we need is a spiritual reformation. We need a spiritual awakening in this land and throughout Europe and America. We need to wake up and come back to the Bible, come back to Christ who is our Saviour and our Lord. And it has to be for the glory of God. And that's the problem with Donald Trump, the problem with Tommy Robinson. They're not doing it for the glory of God. It has to be for the glory of God and the true and living God. And it, we have to get back to biblical truth and biblical teaching. That's what we have to do, folks. If we don't do that, uh, Europe's finished. So get on your knees, start praying, start moving forward to revival and reformation, start moving to working to get the gospel back into the West. This is a battle for the West. And you're sat on your backside watching TV while Rome burns. You're sat in these nice posh churches where they're playing the guitars and it's all nicey nicey, but you're not in the dirty places in the, the difficult places, in the hard places where the gospel needs to be implanted. God bless you. Have a lovely day. This is Jay, ready to preach the gospel anywhere and to stand up for the gospel in these evil days. Take care.